Okay, so the concept behind linear systems is that you have more than one linear equation and you solve them at the same time to find points or x and y coordinates which go together for both systems at the same time. Remember that when you graph a line for a linear equation, what you're doing is graphing all the points that represent x and y values that match given the information you were given in your original equation. So what we're looking for now is two different lines and the point where both of those lines can be solved by the same x and y coordinate at the same time. Let's look at an example and see if that clears things up a little bit. Let's say we have y equals negative 2x minus 1 and that we have y equals 2x plus 3. Yeah. So let's solve these two linear equations real quick and graph them. Here we know we have a y-intercept of negative 1, so we have a point right here. And then our slope is negative 2, so it's either up 2, back 1, or down 2, forward 1. So that one looks like it has a line that goes through right about here. Go both ways so that our line goes onward. Yeah. And then the other one has a y-intercept of 3, so it has a point right up here. And then it, its slope is positive 2, so it's either up 2, forward 1, or it's down 2, back 1, right there. So if we draw that one in, now we can see that both of those lines go through this point right here at negative 1, positive 1. And that's important because that means that the, the coordinate, negative 1, positive 1, represents a pair of numbers, x and y, that are correct, that make these statements true, both statements at the same time. And we can see that if we substitute that pair in, if we put negative 1 in for x and 1 in for y, over here, we get negative 2 times negative 1 minus 1 equals 1. So we have 1 in for y and negative 1 in for x. Well, negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2, and 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So that works for that equation. And if we try the same thing with the other one, now we get 1 for y equals 2 times negative 1 plus 3. So negative 1 in for x, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, and negative 2 plus 3 equals positive 1. So it works for that equation too. So this point right here is the one point in all the universe that we know of <laughs> where both of these lines can be solved by the same x and y pair. And that's what we do when we're solving linear systems by graphing. We're looking for that one point where both lines cross or where both lines are solved by the same pair.